forecast. <laughs> That's right, Paul and Pat. And not only now are we talking about rain, but mountain snow. The snow is coming down in our mountain areas and the snow levels expected to drop throughout the night tonight. It is cool and breezy as well. We'll go over all that in just a moment. Uh, but first off, let's take a look at that Doppler radar. We'll show you right where that snow is coming down. Uh, areas of pink, of course, is the mix of rain and snow where we've got the shades of white. So we're actually seeing the snow. Now, snow levels because the storm system is so cold behind it could drop as low as 3000 feet. The actual low is very unstable, very cold core aloft. Uh, so we are looking at some unstable weather. We still have a slight chance of some thunderstorms in our area. One of two storms that will be moving in and in affecting our area come the middle of the week. So currently we've got that winter weather advisory in effect for our mountain areas, two to four inches of snow, a possibility. And again, those snow levels could drop as low as 3000 feet. And then we've got the high wind warnings in effect for the mountains in the Apple and Lucerne valleys and high surf advisory. We'll talk more about this in the rest of your forecast coming up. Back to you guys. All right, Jackie, thank you. Well, Paul and Pat, oh, we are getting through the worst of it. Most areas saw the wet weather earlier this morning, now mainly over the mountain areas uh, is where we're seeing most of that moisture. But we still have a slight chance of some thunderstorms popping up uh, just because the atmosphere is so unstable with this area of low pressure that's moving past to our north. That cold front moving through today, bringing us the cold weather and the windy weather. In fact, high wind warnings and wind advisories in effect. But what a lovely shot we have for you from Long Beach. And you can see those clouds out out there definitely looking like they're filled with moisture and we've got some sh light showers over the ocean water. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But first off, uh, I want to talk about this rain and mountain snow. Of course, we are seeing some uh, heavier amounts of snow at this hour and those snow levels are dropping with that very cold air behind this area of low pressure. Uh, again, those snow levels could drop as low as 3000 feet to around 4000 feet, about two to four inches of snow and more snow in those uh, higher elevations elevations, of course, that area of low pressure still to our north and that will be passing to the east, but very unstable conditions and seeing uh, heavy amounts of rain and thunderstorm activity throughout the day today. One of two storms affecting our weather this week. This next storm system will be moving in by Wednesday, bringing us more rain and chilly temperatures. For now, we've got the winter weather advisory in effect for the mountains of LA and Ventura counties. High wind warnings in effect for the Apple and Lucerne valleys, as well as the mountains of San Bernardino and Riverside counties and we've got the high surf advisory in effect. Surf could kick up to around 12 feet, but take a look at these winds. These are sustained winds. So we've got gusts well above that uh, up to around 32 miles an hour in Oxnard, 12 in the Lucerne Valley, 18 miles an hour in Lancaster and 14 miles an hour in Riverside, 18 in Laguna. Temperatures today running 10 degrees below average, so not only is it chilly out there, it is windy as well, making it feel even cooler than it actually is. Temperatures this evening cooling down into the 50s, so again, we didn't warm up much at all today. But again, that area of low pressure just to our north, that trailing cold fronts, what brought us the wet weather. And again, behind this low, we're getting that wraparound moisture. So although that low is moving through, we still have a chance for that wraparound moisture. And that's why with the cold air moving in tonight and that moisture in place, we will see those snow levels drop. And because of that and the winds, that's why the winter weather advisories are in effect. Now, tomorrow, Valentine's Day, We'll have a nice dry day. Temperatures will stay cool, so you'll definitely have to cuddle up uh, to your loved one tomorrow. Temperatures will be into the low 60s for highs, partly cloudy skies. And then Wednesday, another chance of rain. Temperatures will be into the low 60s. But then by Thursday, Friday, we're into the 70s with sunny skies. Back to you. Sweet.